today is Thanksgiving and uh, have a lot to be thankful for this year. Um, today's November 24th. Uh, right now on Broadway in Fowler and today I wanted to show you guys the progress of the rising over here on North Broadway. Um, it's uh, basically almost complete at 5115 the rising. Um, it's basically complete. I don't think anybody's living in there yet. I think they're still doing finishing touches on the inside of the building. Um, but just to kind of review, um, so once completed, it will serve as a new home of university settlement, uh, which provides a lot of uh, outstanding services for the neighborhood. Also, we'll have a Tri-C Access Center, um, so people from the community have access to classes. Um, hopefully, they'll be able to do some um, extended programs over here. That'll be fantastic. Direct people towards job resources, that kind of thing. Um, it's built on, this is actually built on the property of the former St. Alexis Hospital, later St. Michael. Um, property was sat vacant for a long time, and then um, we were able to, or the university settlement was able to put together the funding and the packaging and to be able to build this, the first new project in Slavic Village in quite a while. Um, it will serve as 88 affordable apartments and townhomes with 20,000 square feet of commercial space in a part of the city that desperately needs development. And one of the things that we're already noticing too is the Elgin furniture over there is already for sale for development opportunity. Um, also, you have this ground right here, which will eventually, uh, my understanding, will eventually hopefully carry over for some of the townhouses, maybe another building of some sort. Uh, there's been all kinds of rumors going around that this area right here will be used for something. So we're hoping this serves as a linchpin for further development in the North Broadway neighborhood and by extension Slavic Village. That's the hope. That's the dream. And um, we're going to get some drone shots. Um, it might be the one last time I filmed it. I think the last time I filmed it was in June. I've uh, been kind of busy through June so I haven't had much chance to do much filming but uh yeah we're gonna get some shots and we are going to get some drone shots so without any further ado let's cut to that footage right now <laughs>
Yeah.